well, middleweight title Tony on the line. Anderson. Tony Fricklin, Anderson Silva. Here we go, three rounds world title. Any it's it's almost a damned if you do, damned if you don't thing for Tony Fricklin Remember, because he's no got elbows a height to disadvantage. A if he goes on the inside, he's going to have to wallow through the big knees of Anderson of Silva, who in the clinch the is guard. devastating. But Tony has got to do something. And I think he's basically just got to go there the and, and, and maul and brawl his if way I say stop, to hurt Anderson. Stop. Nobody yeah. so far in cage races has, has been able war. to do that. And that's hurt Anderson. But on that, on that note, I mean, if you get into the clinch with Silver, generally you're in a bit of trouble. You know, he's, he's not someone you really want to be in a clinch with when we saw him fight last in, in a way, it does put Lee Murray's Here we go, um, well, decision so, are you ready? in perspective. Are you ready? I mean, he went the distance. Let's fight! And I think he's the only one at cage race to do so. That's right, he's... Yeah, Lee Murray showed a lot of guts in doing that. Tony Fricklin coming out, realizing, if he didn't before, that Anderson is a southpaw. Tony, his weapon of choice to open things up would be a straight right. Tony circling away from Anderson's left high kick. Anderson being patient. See, this is, Fricklin is using a pretty good game plan so far. He hasn't really landed too much other than that, that little clipping low kick. But he's staying away from the power of Anderson. And that would be the straight left hand or the left roundhouse kick. Because he's moving to his left. That's right, the straight right hand, left hook, good counter to his hand. This is what he's got to work against. Yes. That's where Silver's combination pay off. Yeah, Silver's starting to pull on the heat. Oh, good oh, knee. Good knees. Oh. And we're just saying pretty flat, probably the most dangerous knees for a striker out there. Yep. And this is what Tony's got to do. He's got to keep his head up top. Okay, Tony going for a clinch. Tony's got to be careful here. He's keeping his head up nice and high because if his head goes down low, it could be the knee, but Anderson chopping the body. Yes, with those knees right to the side as well, as the carrying the knees down. We saw him finish Jorge Rivera nicely from that same position. Oh, oh, up up. Beautiful leg kick. And it, they need it landed! It's those leg kicks and a kick to the fight, a knee to the fight. It drops Fritland. Silver asserting his well dominance here is Tampa. Oh, oh, and it's oh, over. Oh, it's it's over. over. It's over. Superb. This is why this man is middleweight champion of the world. That was unbelievable. We've seen a back knuckle. That was a back elbow. A right back elbow. I have never seen that move yet in cage rage. And you can see everybody's mouth is open as you look around the arena. That's and nobody is seeing it in movies. Wow. You see that in movies, not in a real fight. That was straight out of Ron Bach. Unbelievable. Straight out of Ongbach. It was a reverse. He didn't spin. It was not a spinning elbow. This was one of the most amazing. Look at this. He throws it from here. Watch this. Oh, what a shot. Beautiful. You're right. You just do not see that technique used. No, that was just beautiful. And there's, there's the respect. Anderson knows that Tony came here to put his heart on the line, and he did. But his body failed him once he got that shot up inside the chin. Uh, it was all over. This is one for the replays the world over. That was beautiful. It was on the temple, it looked like. Amazing shot. And how turn do you get, in. How do you get power from that? Ask Anderson look, at, look at his, his hands down. <laughs> his timing as well to go through the channel like that so clearly. Man, that was impressive. I can't believe it. Really sharp elbow from Silva. Like I said before, in karate, they have the back knuckle, but now we have the Anderson Silva back elbow. And it was the way his body moved. He turned right and then... It also had to be deceptively fast because, as you said, it's not one you could disguise. It's not something easy. You normally throw it in a combination and, and stuff like that. You know. I, I think, I think Rob, you, you mentioned to me that Anderson Silva always did something new and, and always stayed ahead of his competition. Now we see in, in bending these new moves, that are straight out of the movie Ong Bak from Thailand. It's unreal. I mean, you cannot stand and try fight this guy. Now, 
I mean, Steve, who would you like to see Silver fight? Yeah, we must so thank one of our sponsors, Blitz, for supplying all the gloves and all of the shorts that the fighters are Maybe wearing. Maybe Rio Chona would be a good fight. And also fight. Sports Betting One On One dot com. Nuts Magazine, keep an eye out in Nuts Magazine for us, ladies and gentlemen. And the trophies and the belt will be presented by the chairman of Sports Betting One On One, Stephen Bamford. Well, guys, what a way to finish our tenure here at Wembley Conference Centre before we move ladies on. Ladies and gentlemen, remember... That's right, history was made here tonight as Anderson Silva kept hold of his title. UK. The next time you see Cadre, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, we will be at the Wembley oh, two Arena. Minutes, two of round one, we have a winner, and still 